<laughs> Welcome back to Dunn's World, everybody. I'm done. And if you're new here, bring it in. Bring it in. Y'all should be used to the routine. Bring it on. As a matter of fact, y'all ain't got to bring it in. I'm going to come to y'all because the way I got this camera propped up right now in my truck, it's quite perfect. So I don't want to knock it over. So I'm going to give y'all air kisses and air hugs. Welcome, your lover here. And if you're returning, welcome back, gang. So, <clears throat> based off of the title of the video, today I will be going over the process of out-processing when, when you've either completed your contract, contract, excuse me, when you've either, God damn, <laughs> when you've completed your contract, or if you're moving on to bigger and better things or you're resigning. So I just wanted to give you all a quick glimpse, quick idea, a quick summary of what that looks like as well as the process and the things that you gotta do. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first things first, and this is with any job that you have, no matter if it's contracted, no matter if it's fast food, Whatever that may be, always put a two-week notice is. You should never, ever leave on a bad note. Never. I don't care what the circumstances, I don't care what the environment was like. Always put a two-week notice is. Keep it very professional. You understand what I'm saying? Within that uh, resignation email or, you know, speaking with your manager or whomever you're giving your resignation um, uh, form to... Excuse me, make sure that you give gratitude for the opportunity of working with the company as well as offering assistance with training whomever is coming to replace you or whomever is going to be there to cover down for you so that they don't have to, you understand what I'm saying, figure out, oh, well, you know, what was your job and what did you have going on or what did you have to do, what was your duties, what was your responsibilities. Leave a continu continuity book. So that the person that comes behind you, it's easier and it's better for them to catch up and catch on to what's going on. Especially with there being different types of battle rhythms in these companies. It's good to have somebody leave something so that you can pick up where they left off. So, first things first is that resignation email. Either a resignation email or an email stating, hey, I will not be recontracting. This is why... Thank you for the opportunity. It was an honor to work with the company. I learned so much. Um, going on to bigger and better things, I would like to extend my help as well as my assistance with whomever is coming in. I will train them. Let me know if anything else is needed of me. Thank you so much. Kind regards. Boom. Short, simple. So depending on where you are, right? with uh your position and this is strictly for contracting overseas positions and in reference to what i'm about to explain and break down so they're going to take your they're going to take your passport from you and they're going to cancel your visa that right there could take anywhere between now it, it probably takes a couple days but because these companies are busy um, the foreign nationals are busy too. So the turnaround time is not long. I'll give it a week and you'll have your passport right back. So that's, that's the second thing. Once you give your manager or supervisor, or whomever that resignation email, resignation paperwork, the next thing is for you to give them your, not your manager or supervisor, but HR is to give them your passport so that they can cancel your visa. Um, next thing, what they're going to do is they're going to send you an email asking you to verify your home of record and your home of record, um, your address, as well as what is the closest airport. They're going to ask you to verify that. Now, the reason why they're asking you that is because most contracting companies will pay for your trip home. Okay. So they'll pay for your trip home. So they're asking you that so that they could get your plane ticket. And nine times out of 10, they, they, pay, they usually get the cheapest, they get the cheapest, uh, they get the cheapest flights. So you may have an hour layover here or, 
you may have to get on three different flights to make it back home but for the most part at least uh and my on my behalf i think i got on i think i got on three different flights i think and there was a layover but because of the time framing of when i was traveling it was very bad weather like it was cold it was snowing so um a lot of things was delayed and because it was delayed that layover really i didn't even see the layover because as soon as i got off one plane i was rushing to get to the next because a lot of things were delayed because of the snow so that was the next thing uh so in reference to what i was saying about creating that continuity book so that the person that's coming in behind you is tracking what's going on um make sure you you know ask if there's anything else that may be needed like maybe there's some knowledge or maybe there's some things that you used to do that not too many people know what to do or know about make sure that you passing that knowledge on you understand what i'm saying like i said you never want to leave a job uh hanging or leave a job uh on a bad note so make sure you give as much help and assistance as possible when you're leaving right because you want to keep that door open in case you may want to work with that company again or if you you know what i'm saying just want to jump right back into that same position you never know we're in a recession we're in inflation experiencing inflation right now you never know who you may need so make sure you leave on a good note um so train your replacement whomever that may be or train somebody on whatever it is that you if it's something that <clears throat> if it's something that you do within your position that nobody else knows how to do make sure you're passing that knowledge on and also a continuity book make sure you have that from jump to pass on i had a binder of documents and you know of things that i knew about and i pat and i passed that on to you know someone within my uh section that way in the future if something comes up about these specific documents or uh property or whatever that may be they're tracking it next thing you have to clean your room you have in which i don't know what that may look like outside of company housing but as far as company housing goes you gotta clean your room make sure the trash is taken out make sure you dust you understand what i'm saying it ain't gotta be spick and span but just clean up behind yourself not sure how everybody's cleaning standards are but you know just just clean up behind yourself you don't have to hire in which you can if you want to if you want to hire someone to clean for you but for me i like to clean it's very therapeutic you understand what i'm saying and i and i just like you know coming into clean room so my room is rarely my room was rarely dirty anyway but clean your room make sure the trash is taken out make sure the lint is taken out of the uh dryer trays things like that uh so in my previous video i spoke on the eagle cash card so i don't know who all is knowledgeable about eagle cash cards but that eagle cash card is connected to your bank account so let's say you had ten dollars left on your eagle cash card prior to you leaving or demoting or uh clearing that money will automatically go back into your bank account so don't worry oh my goodness you know I lost 10 or 20 dollars or 100 dollars is still on my eagle cash card it'll automatically go back into your bank account each company is different um clearing procedures and policies and procedures are different per company so just make sure that you stay in the loop with what's going on and what's needed and expected of you to clear that way you can get out and back home in a timely manner um <clears throat> what else so they're gonna give you a list of different sections that you have to clear i'm not gonna go into depth about that because it's kind of self-explanatory um and and honestly it can be done in a day it clearing in which i don't know <laughs> and because in the military it didn't take long to clear neither but if it darn sure doesn't take long to clear when you're uh contracting overseas you could do it in a day it does not take long at all um the biggest thing that i will say is just to ensure that you know each of these different sections hours of operation everybody operates on different hours um certain sections operate maybe in the morning time mainly 
Um, so others operate mainly in the afternoon, so just make sure that you know hours of operation as well as a point of contact to get in contact with to know what all is needed for you to clear them. Um, what else? Like I said, I'm not gonna get into depth what those se in depth what those sections are because it's self-explanatory. Like, you know, it's your day-to-day -day, uh, sections that you would in process with. Um, depending on what type of identification you have, they will take that as well. They will take your company identification. They will also take your cat card. So you literally won't have no access to get back onto the base. So make sure that when you're clearing that <laughs> when you give that cat card or that, that, uh, yeah, when you give that cat card that you are completely done because you cannot come back on the base. So make sure you're done like done done uh but yeah i think i think that wraps up the process to out process with um overseas contracting and that may be you, you may be able to use that same uh procedure even uh with uh conus positions like i said it just depends on each company they have their own thing so just ensure you're heightening your knowledge on that so that you know what's going on um, but as I always say in each video if you have any questions any questions drop them in the comment box you can reach me on my Instagram in which that is also in the comment uh, not the comment box but in my bio my tur the turnaround point for me to get back with you is pretty quick as soon as i see a comment or as soon as i see a question i get back with you immediately so you know i just i just want people to know that i'm active on my youtube i'm active on my instagram i'm active on tiktok so don't ever think oh goodness you know is she gonna write me back or is she busy i will get back to you as soon as i see it uh but without further ado make sure you like comment subscribe uh, share the video, anything that you need to know or that you want to know, leave it in the comments and I'm going to get back with you. Till next time, peace.